Solid state batteries, right? They sound amazing. Uh, there's some kind of new incredible technology that is going to just revolutionize EVs, change the world. Uh, people are getting tired of hearing these claims because solid state batteries have been under development for so long and there's still no electric car yet that has a solid state battery. Now, these semi, semi solid state batteries in China that are now in Neo electric cars and some others, they're not solid state batteries. They're a different thing altogether. So what's the problem with solid state batteries? Well, longevity. That is the biggest problem. They don't last. Start charging them, start fast charging them, and yeah, well, they degrade quickly. But American company QuantumScape has changed that. If these claims are true, these claims are groundbreaking. I mean, listen to this. QuantumScape's solid state battery retains 95% capacity after 300,000 miles. In fact, more, more than 300,000 miles, 95%. As far as I know, that's better than any lithium battery technology in the world today. Even existing lithium ion phosphate batteries are very unlikely to retain 95% capacity after 300, more than 300,000 miles, which is what? About more than 500,000 kilometers. That is absolutely groundbreaking. If this is true, and these batteries can be mass manufactured, which it sounds possible, then we will have something. I will be wrong. I will be wrong about what I said, that solid state batteries are not going to replace lithium ion batteries within the next 10 years. I would be wrong on that because this is incredible. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Hope you had an amazing day because while well, this story has made my day, Volkswagen who own a part of this company, QuantumScape, they recently tested QuantumScape's solid state lithium metal battery and found that it doesn't age. I mean, you can't say this doesn't age, but it's pretty close to not aging. Solid state batteries, of course, have not yet transformed EVs, but that could be about to change within the next few years. QuantumScape has revealed their battery has significantly exceeded performance requirements during testing by Volkswagen. This is, this is legit. This is the most legit thing we've seen yet from solid state batteries ever. Uh, Toyota have been saying they've had a solid state battery um, that is ready to go now. They've been saying this for 10 years, literally 10 years. I believe the anniversary is this year. 2014 was when they first began claiming they had a prototype. It would be in their electric cars in 2018. They revised that to 2019, then 2020. Now they're saying 2026. I'm going to guess that's going to come and go. QuantumScape will almost certainly beat Toyota because this is legit. QuantumScape, don't do what Toyota does. Toyota hides everything. We do not know any details at all about Toyota's magical solid state batteries. But QuantumScape have revealed immense amounts of data showing what the issues are, what they were in the past with their solid state batteries, what their technology is, all the layers, how they actually build the batteries. We have finite details. And then Volkswagen goes, actually test the battery pack. We got a big car company, you know, the second biggest car company in the world, um, second most indebted car company in the world. <laughs> anyway, they test it and say it's the real deal. I'm gonna say, good chance, it really is. After 1,000 charging cycles, um, there was almost no impact to the battery. It had more than 95% of its original energy capacity. That's significantly better than any battery pack in any Volkswagen electric car today. The company claimed this is equivalent to an EV driving 300,000 plus miles or 482,800 kilometers without any noticeable loss in range. QuantumScape's target, though, remains 800 cycles with 80% energy retention. So QuantumScape is saying, yeah, that's good, but you know what? Um, this is a prototype cell. We need to start mass manufacturing now. These tests mean, uh, I believe QuantumScape has cracked the code. If they can just get these battery packs out there, even in supercars, that would be a good start. Then the technology can trickle down to more affordable cars. Mean, well, this is about to potentially really change a lot of what the naysayers are saying about EVs. These tests show the prototype cell has the same number of layers and uses the same proprietary cell format as their first production intent battery cell known as QSE5. So this is a production intent battery. 
It's not simply just a prototype. Now, Toyota is saying that they have um, a solid state battery, which provides their uh, electric EV with 932 miles of range. Um, we have no actual proof of this. There's no videos, there's no information, there's no details, but this we do have proof of. We know more about it. In fact, you can see here from this image, um, the details on the battery, the temperature ranges, the specifications. We have exact details, which is really transparent information from QuantumScape. QuantumScape actually said that months of testing conducted by Volkswagen's PowerCo labs demonstrate the performance potential of solid state lithium metal batteries while promising longer ranges, shorter charging times, and maximum safety. Safety is really high because in a solid state battery, there is no liquid electrolyte. The liquid electrolyte is the flammable part of a lithium battery. The company noted the results far surpassed the industry standard of completing 700 charging cycles while retaining 80% battery capacity. And well, clearly they do. In the real world, will these batteries be used differently? Of course. I mean, Volkswagen did this testing. We don't know if it was in an actual electric car. Was it just in a laboratory? Don't know. But, you know, realistically, it doesn't matter because laboratory tests for normal lithium ion batteries are done in a similar way in the laboratory or in a car. And they just need to get to the point of 700 cycles while retaining 80% capacity. And this has obviously far exceeded those numbers. Power Co. CEO Frank Blohm said this. These are very encouraging results that have impressively underpinned the potential of solid state cells. The final result of this development could be a battery cell that enables long ranges, can be charged super quickly and practically does not age. And he's, he's understating the potential of these battery packs. We're talking about batteries that can potentially charge in five minutes, give you a thousand miles of range and eventually will become affordable. At the start, they will be very expensive but give it 10 or 15 years and the prices like lithium ion, like lithium ion phosphate, as they manufacture more of them and mass manufacturing ramps up, the prices will continue to come down, making this technology available in all kinds of devices. Could even be mobile phones. You could be able to potentially just one day buy a mobile phone that you don't need to charge for a month. That would be awesome. I'm sick of charging my phone every day. Anyway, guys, this is really good news. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.